Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another headlamp review, this time from Emelent. Now this here is their HT50 MFH. Now I was sent this by Emelent. This is a Kickstarter sample here. They sent this to me. They wanted me to feature it here on my channel. It comes in this box. So let's go ahead and start off here with the specs. Try to get a better angle here. So you can see the highest output is 3000 lumens on the highest output. You've got multicolored LEDs on here. Now I did review previously their 70 version of this. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up. See what's in. It's always nice to get these. A little bit ahead of time before it is released. That way we can kind of test it and review it and play around with them. Comes in a nice little case here. The zipper is very easy on this. It's got a little lanyard built into it. It's kind of a soft molded but it is a little on the firm side, so should provide plenty of protection. Now this is a complete kit, so it comes with everything you need. Let's we'll start off with the bag of goodies. Get one USB Type-C to Type-C charging cable. Pretty much everybody's going to them. And you've got an additional strap if you choose to use it as a headlamp. I'm going to use it as an angle light like I did on the previous one. One O-ring fell out of there as well. Here's a manual. Very small on the writing of it, but multi-language. Got to fit a lot of information from different languages. They sell all over the world, so nice user manual. Nice little pouch here, store the extra accessories, and it is lined with a little bit of felt on there. I'm going to go ahead and get this light out of here. Oh, there's the other O-ring down there, so two O-rings is what it comes with. And then underneath here is the clip, and that's what I'll be using because this particular battery size is a little too heavy for me. Maybe in an emergency, but uh, I'll be using that. And there it is. So each click of the slider here will move you into a different mode. You've got the power switch here. Now this is magnetic. Grab my knife. So it makes for a great hands-free light, angle light, and this is a nice, well-diffused beam using that one. Very strong. It's got the battery in it, so that's a huge plus. Another reason why I'm going to use that as an angle light. I use them all the time when working on the vehicle or for emergencies. 
I like the design. The headband does have a sweat guard on here, as you can see, but this here, this uh, mount for it is hard. So there's no flexibility in there. You can adjust that pretty easily, the height of the beam that you want, all the way down at your feet if you wish. So that's what that looks like. Band does have holes in it, as you can see behind in the background. Allow your head to breathe. This is actually a pretty comfortable material here. Alright, so now I'm going to take this off of here because of the uh, way I'm going to show it to you is going to be with the clip. Oh, forgot about this little protection piece here. So we're going to go ahead and start right off here with the LEDs. It started here. Got the smooth reflector. Now this is running the Cree XHP 50.3 LED, so there's no dome on it. And you've got the red LED here, and these are your battery level indicators here. So that's what that looks like. Now let's go through the UI. UI is pretty straightforward. Remember you've got the slide switch here. See that move. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and simply click on the side switch. There's the battery level indicator here. Cool white. Turns it off. You click it again. Press down and hold to go through the light levels. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the beam first. See there, it's got a nice hot spot on here. Spiller is just super wide on this. Not a real sharp cutoff, but uh, there is a little bit there. It's going to be a real nice wide beam. Press down and hold to keep going through those light outputs. And then back down to the lowest. Now if you are on any light output, you can double click to get turbo. 3000 lumens, wow. Really bright on that. Now it's not made to operate on this level all the continuously, should I say. Double click again, we'll get you strobe. I don't use this mode often myself, but it's there if you need and uh, continuous on that uh, flashing speed, and it is distracting. Press down and hold. We'll go back to the last light output. We're going to go up from here, turn it off, turn it on, does have memory mode. So now we're going to move the switch here, and the middle one here is just the lowest light output on that. So now we're going to move the switch again, and now we've got the red here, pretty diffused here. Let's see if we got other levels. Wow. It's pretty intense on that. They say it's great for conserving your night vision. And we'll go back to the middle. So if you just want to turn the light off and turn it on, it'll always be on this level, which believe it or not would be plenty of light, probably give you the best run time. 
as well. Pretty easy to move this one finger. Yep. Especially when it's on top of your head, just reach up. Battery level is always on, so you can... This will turn red and start to blink when you're critically low. And that's all there is to this light. It's simple and easy to operate this. The UI is pretty straightforward. USB Type-C rechargeable. That's everything is going to that pretty much. That's probably the best um, type of connection that you can do. That doesn't matter which way you put it in. It charges. Not saying they're not prone to breaking, but there's no way to damage it just by plugging it in like some of the older types but uh, feels rugged it's got some weight to it a little too heavy for me as a headlamp but it's really a preference so let's wait no further let's take this HT50 outside see how it does in the wilderness We are out here in the darkness with the Emlet HT50, a new model of theirs soon to be released. So let's check it out, see how the performance is. Turn it on. It is on the lowest level. It's got a, a large hotspot here, kind of give you an idea. So nice low level here. Go to the next level, see how it does. So it really starts to come alive. Spill area does well. And it is making 138 feet, but kind of hard to see on camera. Water well, spout 38 feet. And it is making 65 feet here. It is on the fence, kind of give you an idea how large that hot spot is and the spill area. Now, I do have a link below all my videos showing my testing area here. Should you have any questions or doubts, check it out. Seeing that large hot spot's taking up the whole tree. Nice. Go to the next level here. See how it does. A little jump there. See how it's taking up that whole tree of life. But the spill area is pretty impressive. Nice. There it is on the fence, kind of do a side-by-side -side beam profile here. So it's pretty large on this hot spot. Oh, nice little jump there. Like I said, this spill is super impressive. Hundred and thirty eight feet and it is making two hundred and thirty eight feet behind this tree. Just look how wide of vision you have if you had this on your head of the headlamp. Look at this. <laughs> All down almost to the ground to your feet. I'm way up to the trees. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go over here to the famous Tree of Life. And let's do turbo. See how it does. Oh, nice. 
Wow. Good job, Emmelet. That is impressive. Try not to eat a moth here. Now, of course, this is not designed to run on this output at all times, but to have it if you need it, it's there. Wow factor to a beam profile here. Way up over how wide this spill area is. And then back up, there's the hot spot. <laughs> Nice. Starting to gradually step down now, which is good and normal. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. This HT50 does very well. The beam on it has a nice large hot spot. Just huge wide spill area. Definitely illuminates your foreground if you're using this to walk with. If you're using it as a angle light like I do. Got a lot of options. You can carry this hands-free on you. Magnetic is another huge plus. The band here. Also you have the extra band you can put across the top if it's a little too heavy, which in my opinion this is. That's the only drawback I say personally. Um, it's a little too heavy for me to carry, but as an angle light, perfect not seeing any issues. Now, if you're out in the darkness and you're needing the red LED to conserve your night vision, this red LED does very well, very wide. Um, it is pretty bright as well. The build quality on this, rugged. I'm not seeing any issues with it. The uh, USB charging port, type C, it's going to quickly charge this if you use a PD or a QC charger. Nice little carrying case, storage case, whatever you want to use it as. Uh, I'm liking this one as well as the H70. Now I'm going to bring out the H70 so you can see it here. Okay, so here's the HT70. So you can see there's a little bit different, but the host is very similar the way it's constructed now I've already done a review on this so if you're interested in this so well, that's what that looks like impressive light output on this one as well so I thought I'd bring that out just so you can see it same case simple UI that's the most important thing. Okay, I want to thank Emilet for sending me this all new HT50 MFH to review. Now, if this is something you're interested in getting, I believe it's in the pre-order stage, but if not, the link down below my video will take you there. I also have a special discount code on this, and that'll help you save some money on this kit, just in case you're interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel. Otherwise, you can please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these new lights from Emilet to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. <laughs>